All right, boys and girls, you are now on your worksheet that I will call Daily Common Core Review 9-1. At the very top, put your name on your paper. After you put your name on your paper, of course, you need your tools. Your tools meaning your worksheet, which is a double-shotted worksheet. However, Ms. Jones will only be showing you one page at a time. So please, please make sure that you are following each and every item that I highlight so that you will not get confused. Make sure you have your pencil and let's go ahead and get started. Here where the star is is number one. Number one asks us to find the missing part and then mark the number that completes the equation. <coughs> Here is 10, is 7, and what number here? One of these numbers. 10 is 7, and one of these numbers. So they decompose 10 into two parts. So you're missing one part here. 7 and what will make 10? Once you find the answer, you bubble it in. Number two, here where the apple is for number two, the question is, what you want to do is mark the number that tells how many ducks. Mark the number that tells you how many ducks you have. Number three. Number three is where you see the fish with the number three inside of it. Here you're going to count the cubes and then write the number that tells how many. Count the cubes and then over here you're going to write the number that tells how many are in all. Moving on to the other side of your page, on the right side of your page you should see <clears throat> something that looks like this. Again, I would like for you to write your name and then you'll be on part 9-4. 9-4 where the star is for number one. It's asking for you guys to mark the number that tells how many trees. Mark one of these, bubble in one of these that tell you how many trees you have in all. Number two where you see the apple, the question is for you to, what they asking you to do, I'm sorry, is count the hats and then you're going to write the number that tells how many. Count the hats, then write the number to tell how many. Right here on this line. Then I would like for you to flip your paper over on the other side, you should see some seahorses, and you'll still be on 9-4. Put your name at the top. And what I need you to do is look at the seahorses. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There are 18 seahorses. Let's practice writing the number 18. There's the number 18 right there for us. We start here. We come around like a snake and go back up and close back in. Okay, so you're tracing here. Number two, what they would like for us to do is count the fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There are nineteen fish. 
So let's practice writing the number 19. We start at the top, you come straight down. Then we go back up to the top, we make a circle around, then we make a slant down to make number nine. All right? So I think you get the hang of this for number three. I want to hear you counting the number of eels. These are eels. Ms. Jones want to hear you count the eels. After you count the eels, your number should match the number here which is number 20. So I don't want to see you rush and just trace over this number. Ms. Jones would like for you to use your one-to-one -one correspondence and count the eels. Number four, here you have fish hooks. How many fish hooks are there? We're going to write the number that tells how many fish hooks there are. Again, you're going to count each one using your one-to-one -one correspondence and then you're going to write the number of how many fish hooks you have. That's for number four. Number five, <clears throat> you want to tell how many alligators there are. You're going to write to tell how many there are right here but first what do we need to do? We need to count. Once you're done, you're going to move to the other side of the page, and you should see some dogs. We're still doing 9-3. Name goes at the top. You see a star here with a 1. Number 1 asks us to look at the dogs. Then we need to count the dogs. And after counting the dogs, your number should match this number here. This is the number 16. If you did not get 16 dogs, please go back and count them again. Once your number matches this number 16 here, then you may trace number 16. Number 16 for the number first number in 16. We need to start at the top, come straight down to the to the line, the ground line, go back up to the skyline, come down in a slant, come around and close in the six, and there you have number 16. Number two, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to count the cats. Your number should match this number. Ms. Jones would like to hear you counting. Don't just trace over this number. Once your number, you hear yourself match this number with the number 17, you are correct. Trace over it. Start at the skyline. Come all the way down to the ground line. Then what we need to do here is start here and make a straight line across and a slant down for the 7 and 17. Number 3. What we're going to do is very similar to what we did on the other side of your page. Number three, we need to count the rabbits. How many rabbits are there? Once you are finished counting your rabbits, you write your number neatly here on these lines. Number four, you have carrots. What you need to do is count how many carrots there are and write the number here. Okay, once you are done with that, I want you to take your blank sheet of paper and I want you to show Miss Jones a group of 17 objects, 17 things. And then I want you to practice writing the number 17. How many objects do I need to see? 17 objects. 
after you have drawn 17 objects, then I would like for you to practice the number 17. Be sure to have your name on your paper. And of course, make it beautiful by using your crayons. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing your success.